Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. This is uh, the new moon reading, new moon in Virgo. And I always get my information from the Moonology Diary that is put out by Yasmin Boland. I love her. I absolutely think she is brilliant when it comes to astrology. And she wrote a very, very interesting foreword for the month of September. And I want to read that to you guys because I think it's, it's going to be very pertinent for us. So she says, at the very least, this is a month to get organized. We get the new moon in Virgo, the sign of organization, and the full moon in Pisces, the sign that can be a tad messy. All in all, it's a great time to start with new and tidier habits and to release messy tendencies. If you start this month feeling a tad confused, stick with it because by the first week of September, clarity could well have come thanks to a connection between Mercury and Saturn. So it's going to feel as if you're getting down to the business end of the year. If there's things that you'd like to accomplish between now and December, this is going to be a great month to make a list. List making really is a super powerful technique for making life changes. And somehow the very act of expressing an idea on paper seems to kickstart the process of making it real. Also, in the second half of September, Venus, the planet of love and abundance, is slightly in the wars, but it all ends well based on the as above so below theory on which astrology is founded this could see some of us going through distinct ups and downs to do with matters of the heart or the bank balance so there could be dramas followed by happier days though um, and the feeling that someone or something is in your way or trying its utmost to make you miserable and then followed by excitement changes, dreams coming true, and finally, almost too much of a good thing. And that's why I wanted to read that to you, because it looks to me like September, the beginning of it, could look very tense or feel very tense for some of us. But by the end, you've got dreams coming true, Virgo and Aquarius. Okay, so now the new moon is in Virgo. We already are aware of that. And the key energies of this moon are going to be organization, discernment, dreaminess, and insight. And your new moon affirmation is exciting changes are coming my way. Now there's going to be a strong push me, pull you energy in this new moon. On the one hand, it's taking place in the most organized sign of the zodiac, Virgo. This is the sign that counts beans, crosses T's, and dots I's. Remember that we all have this energy in our chart somewhere. Now, for you, Virgo, it's in your first house, and Aquarius, it's in your eighth house. And I will get to that when I get into the separate uh, readings for each of you, okay? Now, on the other hand, this new moon is also triggering a very powerful Mars-Neptune opposition. Action planet Mars is the trigger, whereas Neptune is the planet of dreams and doziness. So it's a time to get organized, but in a way that inspires you. You could perhaps organize your work desk so you feel more inspired to be professionally productive. The new moon is also making a harmonious aspect to the planet of change and chaos, which is Uranus. This could mean that if you take time to do something like maybe declutter your home, It'll all work in your favor very quickly. If getting your life in order was one of your aims as you came into 2021, now is the time to check in with how you're doing. If you aren't on course, make a correction. It's as easy as that. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to um, point out the Moonology cards for this new moon. Obviously, we have the new moon card. It's all about new beginnings. The new moon is all about new beginnings. This is the time at, right after the new moon, a few days after the new moon, is when you want to start something new, a new business. Um, move. Buy something new, whatever it might be. Always after a new moon, not before a full moon or during a full moon, because full moons are all about endings, right? So the next card we have is a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Interesting. Okay, 
So that is that. Now I'm going to get into the individual readings for you guys. Okay, Virgo. I am about to do your new moon reading for you, but I wanted to let you know this new moon is in your first house, okay? Which means um, it's big news. It's going to offer you the chance to start again in any part of your life that you know it's needed. So if you're really happy with the way things are going, then consider an energy recharge to help propel you through the, ne the next coming 12 months, okay? But if you want to change the way others see you, the next four weeks are the time to work on that. Okay, so that's what it means for you to be in your first house. Now we're going to start with the um, Queen of the Moon Oracle cards, like we always do. This will give us some timing on what's coming around this new moon. And I know I'm a little late getting this out, but it was my birthday last week and I decided to take my week, birthday week off. And it felt pretty amazing, but it feels kind of weird because I feel like I haven't done a reading in forever. So it feels so good to be back here again, I gotta say. Okay, first card out. Oh, last quarter moon, gratitude. I think this is where you're at, Virgo. It feels to me like you guys are already here. You're feeling so, so grateful for everything that you have in your life right now. This is card 23, so it breaks down to a five. Fives are all about change. I think you guys have had a lot of change in your lives. Change to be grateful for. Wow. That, I got to tell you, the energy around this card is bringing tears to my eyes, but in a good way. It's giving me that really blissful feeling in the pit of my stomach. So I feel like a lot of you are already at that place. Ooh, beaver moon, creation, card 39. It breaks down to a 12, which again breaks down to a 3. This is all about your evolution. Your growth, your evolution. You are creating something new around this new moon. But you notice that up here, it's not a new moon, it's a full moon. It could be by the time the full moon hits us, the full moon in Pisces, you could have started something new. We're going to get timing on these once I get them all out, though, and then we'll get this figured out. Um, Hunter moon. This, this comes out quite a bit. I don't know, this might have been in your last moon reading, too. Um, the Hunter Moon is all about abundance. It's card 38. It breaks down to an 11, which is your soul path number, a soul path number. Virgo, ah, God, this feels amazing. Buckle up because you've got something pretty amazing on its way in here. Something new, but amazing. Ooh, Ooh, maybe this is what's coming in, Virgo. Card 42 breaks down to a six. Lunar God. Wow, the masculine. So, this dream that's coming true at the end of the month, could this be your masculine coming home to you? We are going to find out. Okay, so let's get some timing on these cards for you. Okay, so let's start with the last quarter moon. So the last quarter moon is September 29th. Just so happens that every one of these cards came out in the right order for timing because the beaver moon, the creation card, the beaver moon, I'm sorry, they didn't come out exactly. The beaver moon is November 19th. So I need to switch these two because the hunter moon is October 20th. Abundance. <laughs> now, I, I don't know where to put this Lunar God card because it's not, there's no timing to look for here. And what I'm getting with that card, some of you, this actually is your masculine heading towards you. Now, I want to point out that this does not mean you know, you need to be a female watching this, you know, getting this information about the masculine. 
this could be just masculine energy okay this could be you getting um, balanced with your masculine energy that could be what it comes down to that you you get quite comfortable in your masculine energy and that's what you know the abundance the creation and the gratitude and everything kind of takes place now we're going to get other cards so that's going to give us more information but i think i'm going to leave the masculine right where it is because it feels to me like that's where it needs to be it's it's a lead up because like we already know towards the end of september which is you know that's not the end of september but the end of you know the season of the moon this is um when your dreams are coming true so those of you that are waiting for a masculine to enter your life it could be the end of september now keep in mind that this is november 19th okay so if we're gonna get cards so we'll know we'll know i feel like this is not coming after November 19th this I'm doing this reading from September 6th to October 6th right so this is going to be toward the end of October or end of September beginning of October but let's get some more cards we're going to get some cards now from the light seers deck Okay, so it's going to sit on the Gratitude and the Abundance card. Ooh, Virgo. Did you take a leap of faith or are you about to? Either way, if you have taken this leap of faith, you're going to be grateful you do because it's going to bring abundance into your life. Huge abundance. I feel like like a lot of you are going to be guided to take a leap of faith here in September. It could be toward the end of September. Like this, the gratitude, um, this is September 29th to October 20th. So like I said, toward the end of September, but moving into October, there's going to be a leap of faith that Spirit is going to ask you to take. If you take it, you will be so glad you did. You will have gratitude for taking it because it's going to bring abundance. Huge, I'm feeling. It's huge. And, and abundance isn't necessarily just finances. It's love, happiness, money. It's, it's everything. Your, your business, your career, it's, everything will be abundant. Okay. Ooh, this feels so good. Okay, so now on the abundance and the creation card. Six of Pentacles, like I said, abundance beyond. Look at this. The Six of Pentacles is all about having more than enough to support yourself. You will have more than enough money for you. You will have so much. You'll be able to give to others. That's what this person is doing. They're giving to somebody else. This is going to be gifted to you and you in turn are going to pay it forward or be able to pay it forward because you'll have so much. Like I said, it feels like there's huge abundance coming here and this is financial abundance. This is money. There's, um, I don't know what this is. This is a creation of yours, uh, Virgo. Something that, this has to do with your leap of faith. You're being asked to create something i feel like you are already aware of what this is i feel like you've already been asked or guided in a direction of of a creation that spirit wants you to be the master of because whatever that is when you put that out you're gonna be so abundant oh my god it's gonna it, the money is just going to flow 
Now that being on the abundance and creation card, that's um, October 20th to November 19th. But I feel like this, this fool, this leap of faith here is that creation. You maybe have already created something. You just haven't put it out to the world yet. But when you do, big money coming back to you, Virgo. You're going to be wealthy, very wealthy. That's what this represents to me. Holy cow. Holy cow. I'm a Virgo too. This is exciting. Oh, okay. So on the creation card and the masculine card. So this is November 19th. But this, this can be any time, any time between now and, say, November 19th. You have a chariot card. This is coming in. Your, your masculine or your, your soulmate, your partner is coming in, and they're coming in fast. And it's going to be so balanced. Because look at these. You've got a black horse and a white horse. They're two opposing colors. Normally, it's two opposing energies, and it's up to you to harmonize the energies, bring them into harmony. You're not going to have to. It's already done. It's already there. This is very, very harmonized energy. Look at this. They're both moving in the same direction. He's not even got any reins on them. He's just looking. He's looking at where he wants to go. And these horses are taking him. It's so, so balanced. And that's what this uh, Six of Pentacles says the same thing. That's all about balance. That's equal give and take. But it also represents large sums of money coming in. So much so that you can give it a ton of it away because there's so much there. Okay, bottom of the deck. Hanged man. You are, look, I want to point out, look at the light. It's like an epiphany. An aha moment. You are, you're, you're just knowing. Some of you are already here. Some of you are coming into this, but it's a knowing. You just know. I don't know what it is you know. You just know. You have been raised up to such a high level that you just have that knowing that you need to have in order to move through life, this creation, taking this leap of faith. Whatever this is, this is just an offshoot, okay? So we're not looking at, at this lunar god as any kind of timing, except if you notice, he is a lunar god, so it has to do with the moon, and he's got a full moon above him there. So my feeling is this is going to be around a full moon. This could be around the full moon in Pisces that's coming in the end of September. Some of you, your masculine is a Pisces. It doesn't have to be. It's just something that just popped in my head. Okay, this feels so good but you are about to see everything from a different perspective if you're not already you are in the know virgo or you will be you just know things you don't even know how you know them you just know them okay let's get a couple of gaia oracle cards here i am feeling such excitement virgo oh my god this reading already feels incredible. Ooh. Okay, we got a mix-up going here. There. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. I just can't get over how exciting your reading feels. Okay, so on top of the Fool and the Six of Pentacles, okay, but keep in mind, as I, as I come down, all the cards that are touching are pertinent, okay? So this card sits on top of the Fool and Six of Pentacles, but this sits on top of Gratitude and Abundance, and this also on Creation. So they're all in play here, okay? 
card 16, which breaks down to a 7, which is divine. It's divine guidance, divine intervention, divine everything. It's a very divine number. Winter's end, regeneration, rebirth, positive outcome. You know, I am feeling very strongly that for some of you, this has to do with this last winter's end. Something changed. And I'm, I'm feeling it's right around the end of March, and I don't know why, but for some of you, the end of March is pertinent to all of this. It could be that something took place the end of March, which brought you into a place of gratitude. Because remember in the beginning, I felt like there was a lot of you that already are in this place of gratitude. Now, some of you are going to be in that place once you move forward and get to this creation place, because that's going to create the abundance. Hang on a second. Some of you, the abundance that comes in from you taking a leap of faith is going to allow this creation, whatever this is. And this is right around November 19th. The abundance comes in around October 20th. Try to be in a place of gratitude moving forward. Because that's going to catapult you forward. Now this, the masculine, they could come in over here. I don't have timing on the masculine, but it's going to be fast because the chariot sits on top of it. On top of this card. So for some of you, it was around the end of winter that's gone by already. Something was created. Because see, it's, it's, an, it's aligned here with creation. It, and it brought money. It brought a large sum of money to you. And it made you feel very grateful. But it was in that money coming in that it allowed you the opportunity for this new creation. Whatever that is. Interesting. For others of you, it's when this winter comes to an end because we start here with September 29th, then we move into abundance around October 20th, and then we have that creation around November 19th. So this is moving you forward, and it could be that this leap of faith and, and this wealth, and this is wealth, Virgo, this Six of Pentacles here for you, this is you're going to be wealthy, very wealthy. That could take place for some of you at the end of this winter coming up, okay? So it would be, you know, next spring, which isn't that far away. I mean, you know, we're at the, where are we now? We're in the beginning of September, for goodness sake. Already, where did the summer go? It just flew by. But it's all going to feel like it's moving very quickly. You've got the chariot here. This is all going to happen so quickly. And now on top of the Six of Pentacles and the Chariot, you've got card 14, breaks down to a five. Another five changes. You've got big changes coming in, Virgo. Big. You've got 23 up here, which turns into a five. So now you've got two fives. Purification, fire, bare essentials, the naked truth, and wholeness. Interesting. You're moving out of this very quickly. This is, and what I'm talking about is the bare essentials. Some of you maybe have been living with just the bare essentials because that's all you could afford. That's where you were at. But that's changing. And very, very quickly. Some of you, your masculine that's coming in or your soul mate that's in masculine energy, they're well off. And the minute you come together with them, obviously, you're well off too. 
So for some of you, that wealth could be coming from your twin, your soulmate. Interesting. Okay, now we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card. So for some of you, this is working from the past forward. For others of you, it's working from now and moving forward, the present to future, okay? You'll know who you are and where you're at within that just by, you know, where you're at. For me, it's present moving forward. I know it is because I know I've got <laughs> a leap of faith coming up here. I, I, I've known for a year that I'm moving and I'm moving like this. So they had me pack and, and sell all my furniture and get ready for the move. And here I sit, everything sold. I mean, I have what I need, but I have bare essentials. I have the bare essentials right now. That's it. But I have no idea when or where I'm going. So that leap of faith is coming. I know it is. Okay, so um, Island Time Wellness, keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. One night stand is not a part of this for any of you. That's not your message. That's just, you know, that's somebody's message, but not in this reading. For me, it feels like um, decision maybe unconventional but definitely decision you have a decision to make you're going to have a decision to make here soon if you haven't already had to make it and i know from previous comments some of you might even be in the same boat i'm in you've been you've been guided to pack you knowing you're moving you don't know when you don't know where you're going but you're ready and we need it to be ready for a reason. I don't know what that is, but it is going to move fast. It is going to move very fast. Okay, Synchronicity Oracle deck. you could be feeling vulnerable and alone keep in mind that the energies can switch in the moon reading as well okay and you do have a soul made up here so this could be where they're at if it's not you this could be your person now this is right on top of keys on a ring so options maybe they have a decision to make too but it's on this side, okay? So it's underneath winter's end, taking that leap of faith, abundance, gratitude, all of that. I know for me, that's not me. I'm definitely not feeling vulnerable and alone at any point. I mean, I did when my little girl was so sick for those four months, but I definitely am not feeling that now. So. If you're feeling that right now, Virgo, know that you are about to come out of that, okay? That is not going to last forever. It's going to pass very quickly. Maybe it's because of the decision that you know you need to make that you're feeling this way. If it's you, it could be your person. Whatever it is, it's not right for you at this time. And again this is saying at this time it doesn't mean now this is on the side of the masculine some of you it's about you coming into your masculine energy and if that's the case maybe you're wanting to make a shift maybe your masculine side is because the masculine is the doing side right the feminine is the being so if you're moving into your masculine energy, you're wanting to do something. 
And Spirit is saying it's not right for you at this time. So whatever that is, don't do it. If it's your person moving towards you, it is going to happen. It's just right now. It's not right. Not at this moment. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be in the very near future. Okay? So now we're going to get a Heal Yourself card. You're going to find out what it is you need to heal here. Or your person needs to heal. Do you remember the beginning? The beginning of the recording. September starts out where it could be kind of tense and messy. And then you move into excitement and dreams coming true. I almost feel like this is where we're at moving up. And if that's the case, then yes, feeling vulnerable and alone and something isn't right for you at this time. You have a decision to make. There's options to, to be looked at and and weighed so you can make that decision and come winter's end you will have i don't want to use the word purified you will have detoxed you will have healed something you will be taking a leap of faith it's going to take you into huge huge abundance very quickly you will be so grateful that you moved through all of this. But again, this could be the beginning of September, moving you into the end of September. This winter's end, like I said, this could be pertinent to something that took place at the end of winter this year, not next year. But again, you'll all know, okay, did something, did something happen at the end of winter this year for you? If it did, that's what this is talking about. That likely, whatever it was, was a catalyst that's going to take you into this new place here, this new way, this, this abundance. Okay, so on top of feeling vulnerable and alone and not right for you at this time, it's not right for you at this time because you're still growing. You're still learning to love yourself more. Once you master the self-love, that's when you get catapulted forward. So for you, Virgo, it's, it's about self-love. Once you're at that place, and you are so close, I can feel it. You seriously are so close. I want to get, um, no, Spirit wants me to get a Motivation Manifesto card. This has been staring at me <laughs> since we started. Is that our card, angels? Yes, that's our card. But just in case, Spirit wants a second one. Okay. The joyous masters know that amid all the chaos and conflict, all the hurry and wickedness of the world, there is something solid within that is beautiful and steady and good. Self-love. Because we're in, when we are in that self-love mode, nothing topples us over. We love ourselves too much to let us be bowled over by anything in life. And that's how we stay joyful and blissful, right? You allow the chaos and conflict and the wickedness and the hurriedness in the world, but within, you feel steady and solid. So it doesn't... It doesn't do anything. Let's just take a peek. It says, when our hearts yearn for action and growth, we should care little about what society says is possible or prudent. Yes, we should. Self-love, again. It's about loving yourself enough to um, do what's right for you. This feels so amazing and so exciting this is a piece of cake for you virgo this self-love thing that's a piece of cake for you 
I'm not sure this is even you. But if you are feeling vulnerable and alone, then yes, this is for you. Because if you're in this mode right here, wondering when is my, my twin coming in? Why haven't they come in yet? That's why they're up here and not down here with you. Because it's not right for you at this time. You have to get into that place of self-love. You have to love you before you can love someone else and before someone else can love you. But you're close, Virgo. You're so close. Okay, I want to ask your guides and spirit what it is that you need to do, very final tweaking that you need to do to get yourself into this place of self-love so that all of this can come to fruition for you like this. I'm going to do that in the extended. Click on the title of this video. It'll drop down my description box. The link to my website, which is where my extendeds are, that's where you'll find the extended for this. Those of you going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys. And I will see you next time.